Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I am so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video and we're going to make some stacked envelopes with the signature. But first, let's have a shout out to Debbie, Christine, Ricky, Pam, Joyce, and Barbara. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, I'm very sorry, but I think this was Nancy's question that she asked me about. Can you put a signature in stacked envelopes? I'm hoping that was Nancy because I can't find that um, comment anywhere. But anyway, I've got my envelopes all ready to go. I even have my little one with my image inside. So I wonder if this is better. Is this better? I think that might be a little better. Okay, so I've got my, my envelopes. Now, I'm going to use the littlest one to put my signature attached to. So there's going to be quite a bit of stress right here on this fold. Even though it has some added paper and some glue, I want to reinforce it just a little bit more. Now, this is some tape that's from Tim Holtz, and it's, it's fabric. It's fabric tape. And I am going to just cut a little piece to go. Let me measure that one more time. I looked away. I think I'm going to use this as a measure, this line. I'm going to trim this so it fits inside of here. Yes, just like that. Now I'm going to take the backing off and I'm going to place it right on that folded area on the envelope where the fat flap folds. And that way I want to reinforce this area right here so it can withstand what I'm going to do to it. <laughs> All right, now. Do I have some extra sticking out? Just a tiny little bit. I'm going to get that because that is very, very sticky tape. Super sticky. Now, you could probably use regular washi. I just chose this because I had it and I really thought it might work well. So, now what I want to do is I want to... That's not my paper. I want to take my little guide here and I want to see if that will fit inside. Not quite, so I'm going to trim just a little bit more off. Will that fit inside? Not quite, just a little bit more. Okay, that fits inside nicely. So this is going to be my guide where I'm going to stitch my, put my holes for my signature. So I take my guide and I fold it in half the long way. So let's do that. Crease it very well. Now we're going to fold end to end, just like that, and end to end one more time. And really crease those folded areas. Make sure they're creased very well because we're going to open it up and right where the creases intersect each other, where the creases intersect each other, we're going to place a dot. And that is how I get my stitching and my signatures evenly spaced within the area. That I'm going to place my signatures because I don't measure very well. <laughs> Just saying, I don't. So I'm going to get scrap pieces of paper. They're all different sizes. I just kind of mixed them up. I thought it will be okay. <laughs> I did make sure that they will fit within the uh, envelope that's going to go on top of this envelope. So see, none of the signatures papers are sticking out. This one's kind of close right there. But 
basically it's inside. So I'm going to take this out and I am going to take that out and I'm going to open this up, place this in here like this, place my signature in here. Now this is the tricky part. I've got to get this signature in the area where the envelope is and I can't really see it very well. And another tricky thing is you can't really attach this. I don't have big enough safety pins. Oh, that one grabbed it. That one grabbed it. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to put a hole in here. So I'm going to put a hole here. came through. I'm going to put my next hole that came through and I'm going to put my next hole and that came through. Now I'm going to remove this guide. I'm going to get my thread and needle in the middle hole <laughs> Come on now. I feel like I'm standing on my head again. Okay, I need to make a little bigger hole. I don't want to make too big of a hole, but my needle is bigger than what I made the hole for. So now, we're going in. I'm going to leave a tail, go back in this other side, come on now, oh goodness gracious guys, <laughs> goodness gracious. That has got to be big enough. There, maybe. There we go. My goodness. Making sure it's tight. Back down the other hole. Come on now. There we go. And then back through the middle. Making sure we come up on the other side of this string right here. See, I'm on the other side. Let's see if I can get this pulled through. Come on. Oh, finally. And pull it tightly so it's very tight. Alrighty. Now I'm just going to trim this off. And I'm going to tie it, pull it tightly and tie it. Okay. I'll remove my clips, my fasteners. And now we look like this. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my larger envelope and I'm going to attach my flap of my envelope right in the middle where I want it to go. I actually am going to look here and see if I can. That's pretty good right there. Now when I attach this I am not going to put it super flush. I'm not going to make it super flush up against this envelope. 
for the simple reason is we've got quite a bit of papers here that are going to fold back so I want to make sure that we give it enough room to where it will be not as bulky as it could be if we make it flush so I'm going to go ahead and add my glue okay I'm going to add my envelope let's see I think I want it to be yeah it needs to be about right there okay you can see that there is a space between here and here so that when I fold it, it will be, yes, there's a space. Very good. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my third envelope. And I'm going to once again kind of measure it to see so I can get it fairly, goes this way, Kathy, fairly even here. Mm, let's see here. Yeah, I think it's right there that it needs to go. It's going to have to go like that to cover up my signature my bigger paces of my signature. So I'm just going to move this straight out like this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my glue. Well, come on now. Glue right on here. I'm going to glue it down nicely. And then I'm going to put this right here, making sure that I have going to cover up my signature, my signature here with this envelope. So when it shuts, my signatures will not show. So now I'm going to open it up. And then you'll be able to open this one up and then this one right here with the pocket and the little signatures inside. Oh, well, you guys, I think it's so cute. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And Sundays are the days that we have our drawing for Happy Mail from me to you. And you get in this fishbowl by, in this video, at the comment section, tell me your act of kindness. Simple as letting someone in to um, traffic. Letting someone go ahead, of you at go ahead, of you, ahead of you at the grocery store. Simple, simple things. Just let me know what it is. That way you get into the drawing for next week. So keep checking back on Sundays to see who won. It may be you. So let's see who has won Happy Mail this week. Alrighty, got it right here. I'm going to bring in my envelope with my signature, and we're going to see who has won Happy Mail. Oh my goodness, it's Art, whoop, Art Journaling with Yuma. You have won Happy Mail from me to you as my way of saying thank you for helping me spread happiness. Check the description area below in this video to see how you get your address to me, and I'll send it out right away. Oh, you guys, I've had great fun. I hope to see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.